Now then guys, how are we doing? Thank you for joining me again and we're back for the Scottish Cup final against Hibs. Now, you absolutely love an Edinburgh derby anyway, but one that means that we get to take the cup away from them. Don't get me wrong, they haven't even got one hand on it. We're just too strong for them. We finished the season now. We ended up finishing the league with 100 points on the board. Not bad at all when we look at the league table. So Celtic absolutely bottled it towards the end. We ended up finishing 11 points clear. They were never in it. Rangers finished second. And there you go. So goal scorers, top goal scorer Mitrovic with 24 goals. Brown manages to pip second spot as well. That is absolutely massive. And when you look at average ratings wise... The amount of Hearts players there that are involved, unbelievable. Kind of shows you how we've played this season. Deserved winners as far as I'm concerned. We absolutely bossed the league. We went attacking from day one. And yeah, did we reap the rewards for that? 100%. So yes, like I say, we've got this game against Hibernian at Hampden Park. Now Hibs, how did they get there? So, they've had a fairly easy run, if I'm completely honest. They won 3-1 against Sterling. They struggled against Livingston. They had to play a replay there, which they edged through 1-0. They had an extra time win in a replay against Dundee. They won 2-0 against Hamilton. Yeah, they've had the easiest run I've ever seen to a final. Unlike ours, where we had a 4-2 victory over Kilmarnock, a 3-1 victory over St. Johnson, we beat Rangers 4-1, and then we beat Celtic 3-2 in the semi-final. So, we've had to take out Rangers and Celtic to get to the final. So, yeah, Hibs aren't going to know what hit them today. So team selection and I have tried to pick my best 11 as I want to blow Hibs away. So we're going with Gory and Gold, Dosek, Hendrik, Suta and Juan Cuato. Martirana, Shalabar and Kragul, Lamine behind Brown and Mitrovic. Now this is a swan song for some of the players. You know, Gory could be going. I did say that I want to keep him as a number two. That may be what happens. He's been with us quite a while now. I think he's been with us for five years now. So Gory will potentially be going. Mitrovic is probably going to go as well. We've got players like Rinamota and Divine that could potentially go as well. So, yes, there's players that are going to be on the move. We'll see some of them today, I'm sure. Hopefully, they'll be lifting a cup in their final game for the club. And we get a double this season. So, let's go, Disco. We're good to go. John Sutar apparently isn't match fit. That's a surprise, in fairness. He's played a fair few games for us this season. He's not coming back from injury. And Sophie McNamara says, I think this is our best team. I think this is our best team too, if I'm completely honest. And Mark Mitchell said, Dosek is starting good. Now watch their keeper have an absolute worldie. We deserve to win the trophy. That's what I'm telling the guys. Nobody's really pumped up. And there we go. So we're obviously going to play the 4-3-1-2. Lamine is going to pull the strings with Shalabar. Mitrovic and Brown hopefully getting the goals. How are they going to set up? They're going to set up a 4-2-3-1. Nisbet up top is obviously the one to watch. As we make our way out on the Hampden Park, let's go Disco. Hands on hips from the manager there. As we do the huddle and we are good to go. A Sutar on it then. There is a highlight from kickoff. What a lovely start this would be if we could get a goal. As Limin out to Martirana. Go on, Sammy lad. Turn him inside out. Ball across. Brown. Kragul. Brown had all the time in the world there as well. Really slow to react as Lamine toe pokes it over the bar. But 29 seconds in, we've had a couple of chances already and that's what you want. As they've had an injury. If I've got a player off already, Jerry Logan goes off injured in the first nine minutes. Dosek then with the throw. We turn it over. Bull on it. And I've got plenty of players coming forward as Ward beats our offside trap. Surely not. Gory with the save. They've still got loads of players in there though. Stop that ball across. What a save from Gory again. Double save from Gory there. We got cut wide open and we're so slow to get back. Mallon then. Get this ball cleared away, lad. Stop pissing about. And it's gone all the way through. It's a goal kick. That was a bit of a shambles. Two shots on target there as well and Gory was equal to both of them. It's a bit of an early scare. I'm going to encourage the team. I expect better than that as we have a throw in. Mitrovic then. Come on. Shalabar. Not seeing much of him and we turn it over. We're falling all over each other. Bull has got nobody. There should be absolutely no issue here as Dosek cleans it up. It's a poor clearance. We're under the cosh a little bit. We need to force an error. Go on, Sammy, lad. Get involved. Ball across. We are wide open. Lennon toward. Shot. And it's off the post. We are on the ropes here. And Juan Cuato sticks it out. Right, we're attacking. We're going to go positive. We are too wide here. Hibs are pulling all of the strings. And this is a shock, if I'm completely honest. 
I thought would have been too strong here. As you can see by key chances and clear cut, clear cut chances as well. We have done nothing. Hibs have got so much of the ball. Uruguay, he's a player that's haunted us in the past. There's a goal coming here. There is a goal coming. And what a save from Gory again. Gory's having the game of his life. Hibs are going to get a goal. We may have to go more defensive. I haven't really got a defensive side. And it's over the bar. We are getting pummeled, guys. Right, time to maybe make a change here. Straight away, tactically, have I got the option on the bench? I've got Milosevic. Do I make that change now? Do I, do I bring Lamine just into the middle? Just let him go like half an hour. We'll play 4-4-2 to shore it up. As Malin then. Ball in to the back post. It's over the bar again. We're getting absolutely pummeled. Hibs are doing us over. Eight shots free on target. We've gone 4-4-2. And we're going to get to half time at 4-4-2 as well. I will take that. That is... Frash my arms a little bit. I'm far from pleased with what I saw from the team. Tactically then, we're going to go back to the old fearful. Lamine's off. Milosevic on. We'll swap those two guys around. The Shalaba's going to drop deeper. Charlie Brown's had a quiet game. That is it. Come on. Will we get a change of fortune in the second half? As I'm going to demand more. But as it goes again, Hibs are back on the ball. Get it clear. Lennon with it. Right, Juan Cuato, there we go. Get a counter on. Ball out to Krugul. Who is that in the middle who's well offside? He's not now, though. Square it. And that is poor from Krugul. It's the wrong option again. It was like that in the last lot of games for us, especially that game against Rangers when we got beat. He didn't really do the business. Krugul's coming off, in fairness. Murillo will go on there. I'm not happy with his contribution. Right, let's encourage your team. Come on. We have been well and truly done here. We're coming into the game. We've had eight shots free on target. 54% possession somehow. Not quite sure how that's happened. As Hibbs on the ball again. Martirana on a yellow. Jeez Louise. Uh, Sammy, be careful. Shalabar. That's a great ball out to Murillo. Right, Murillo to substitute. What can he do with it? Brown! What a save, Brown! Goal! And there we go. We've done it. Charlie Brown, it took him two efforts. He's been quiet. He's on a 6.3. He misses the first effort. Munro makes the save. Charlie Brown, though, from a tight angle, sticks it into the back of the net. Martirana is done. It's a great save. Brown is there. We've got 15 minutes to go. We're going to make a change. Divine, like I say, potentially his last game. All three of my changes made. It's not been a classic, I'll be honest. We have been under the caution. Gory. Had the game of his life in that first half. As time is just ticking away. They've completely lost all momentum. Tactical change has got us through here, guys. I'm sorry to say, but tactically we got it right. And we actually get to see us lifting a cup. Get in. Get in. You know, some kind of trophy after that Premier League debacle. And there we go. We're getting clapped on. We get to lift the trophy. There we go. Well played, lads. So it's a double this season. We got a league trophy and a cup trophy. As there's a confetti. We get all the, the pyrotechnics. And we get to the post-match. So what am I going to say? I'm very happy. Congratulations, lads. It was a shocking team performance. That is a worry, though, if I'm completely honest. We've we've really come off the ball a bit towards the end of the season. A Charlie Brown goal is the one that wins it. And Alyssa Cooper says, great result. Can't believe how good we were. More of the same. We were shocking, if I'm completely honest. And Lily Ingram says, am I the only one that thinks we're making the game a bit dull by winning everything? We've not won everything yet. The treble still eludes us. As Ross County are staying in the Premier League. There we go. So confirmation then that we do the double. There we go. Hart lift the Scottish Cup. We get 587k for the win. Cameron declares proud day for the fans. 100%. Hart's board, they're happy with the Scottish Cup win. So we've won it three times in five years. It's basically our cup, isn't it? And I think in a couple of them, we've actually lost in the final as well. And Clark is spotted at Hamden Park. So Scotland boss Stephen Clark was looking at Soutart, Monroe, Lennon, Mallon, Gary Logan and Joseph Bull. There's plenty of talent in that Hib squad, Scottish talent anyway. Maybe look at Robin some of that, if I'm completely honest. is that Would that be wrong for us to take all Hib's talent? I don't think so. That's if they want to come to his mind. So there you go then, guys. We end the episode. We end the season 
with a Scottish Cup win. There we go. Absolutely love that. We get an A plus on the board. What a season we have had. So that is it then, guys. So you're going to join me in the next episode for the end of season awards and the transfer business. Now that we've got a massive upheaval, I have got some quality players lined up if we can get them in. We need the funds. We need to move players on, obviously, to get those players in. But, yeah, it's exciting times at the club as we're going to push on in Europe next season. That is the plan now to start dominating in Europe. Yes, we've got to retain our league title. I think that is a given. Celtic, they'll chase us all the way. They do every single season. It's a battle between two now. Who are Rangers? Rangers are nobody anymore. I don't see them being a fight. Now, mark this when Rangers do us over three times next season. But I still think we're going to have enough. So yes, Europe next season, Champions League, Europa League, who cares? We just need a bit of European silverware. So thank you very much for watching. It's been emotional, and I'll catch you later. Ta-ra.